Hello everybody, my name is Fad uh, Farmer Phil, we're here with Father Phil and this is a Vintage Thursday video, back in action and kind of in between seasons we're going to be looking at our two August. two vintage combines that we have here. Well, four. Sorry? The four. Four vintage combines. So there's two here. Yeah, so we're going to look at these two that we have here. And before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, ring the bell notification so you get notified of the videos and leave a comment down below. And also, before we go too much further, which combine do you think is the oldest combine? Leave your comment down below and we'll tell you. Well, we'll start off with one combine and you'll find out with the second. So, we'll let Father Phil do his thing and tell us about whichever combine he wants to talk about first. Well, the inside one is the 788. Massey 788. We've had it 10 years now. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose we'll have it 10 years. Um, my oldest memory is sitting on the toolbox of a 780. Yeah. We had a 780 back in 19, probably 74. I was only four. Yeah. Sitting on the toolbox of that, I keep your hand away from the big drum. But the guards wasn't like that one. It was there was no very, guard. very primitive. I suppose, yeah, that, that is a 788. You were on a 780. That 780. That was yeah. a good number of years newer. Um, we had a 788 back in the day yeah cutting um a 10 foot cut that one's only an eight foot cut and uh, i come across that combine on ebay just by chance one august but yeah but it's nine or ten years ago and um, she's in mint condition and um, working yeah and um, there may be a loose board in the wobble box but it's only a matter of tightening it there's actually a wobble box on it it should have a wobbler yeah. It should have an arm that goes over a back like that and it made a kind of a, a unique noise. But somebody at some stage in his life upgraded it to an actual wobble box. Yeah. Off a later combine. Um Perkins 270D, which replaced the L the, the L4. Yeah. The L4 would be in the older combine. Um Diesel. Diesel, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's about 270D is probably around 50 horsepower. Yeah. Somewhere around that, the same engine was used in some of the track marshal dozers. Yeah, they were kind of a um, an engine that was used in a lot, a lot of applications by Perkins. Good old engine, bit smoky. Yeah, and uh, very smoky actually. When when's the last time it was turned on? It, it well, we need um, a battery to go starting them now. No, we're not starting now, but we will start them and run them before the winter time. Winter sets in just for to make a video. Uh, they're not going to be used this harvest because unfortunately. Time, yeah. we just haven't done it. We just haven't time to pull them out. I used to make sure make a point of every harvest, taking them out and cutting the field or two. That one probably hasn't cut hunting in maybe three years. Yeah, this one hasn't cut hunting in two years. Wasn't out last year and it won't be out this year. And um, that was the old format. The engine underneath. Yeah, the drum on top. This is the newer format with the drum on the bottom. And the engine on the top. Yeah. But that doesn't mean to say that that's the newer combine. Yeah. So that combine is 19... Well, anyone from England will know straight away by the registration. Right. Which is 1967. 19... Oh, what gives that away? The KDV the or the 60... Oh, the, the F. F. The F. The last letter. The last letter. The last letter. That gives it away. 67. 67 is, is one of the last of the 788s. They, they they kept the set they, this one is actually 63 so there you go the very first of the 400s the very first of that format yeah and uh, there's a 400 and a 500 wouldn't mind having a 500 as well sometime but well, we, 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 to build a bigger we, we've been offered a couple at this stage and we just that space is our, space our, and, our, and 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 finances finances and space there's too many things going on and um yeah, sometime. Maybe. At some stage, we'll pick up one, but yeah. for the time being, the time being it's not just on the uh, high on the agenda. Yeah, no, it's not high on the agenda. That combine is running really, really well. Um, I cut quite a bit with that combine. It's a bit faster on the road. It's a ten foot cut. Um, everything's going great on it, bar one small issue: the water pump is gone. Yeah, and we have been unable to either ascertain a water pump or a kit to repair the water pump. Yeah, Ag Agri Line have. Have a water pump ordered for us, but we're waiting for it, it never, to come. That's last year. 
this yeah. time last year. Yeah, we it, have it for last harvest. It it's it may turn up, and uh, we we just don't know. But what what yeah. what engine is in it? That has a three hundred D. Three hundred D. D engine. It's slightly bigger engine than the two seventy. Yeah, but basically similar format. Um, I think it'd be a little bit stronger, maybe around the sixty. Yeah, maybe sixty five horsepower. Someone can comment on that if they know. Uh, maybe someone knows where there is a water pump for one. Yeah. If they do, give them a message because I'd like to get it. I can't use it for that reason. Yeah, because you can't, it won't hold water. It just got to the stage where it just will not hold water. Uh, we tried numerous places to see if we even get a kit or something. Uh, going through Massey's completely discontinued probably 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. Um, I've got a lovely combine. Lovely yeah. straight combine. Both of them came out of the Taunton area in England, but that's where I bought them. But they worked in different places. That one worked in, yeah, that one worked somewhere, uh, where is he? that one worked just outside of Liverpool. Yeah. And that one worked somewhere in, somewhere down South Cornwall or down that area. But it was two different men owned them in Taunton. Yeah. And that's where I bought them. Uh, I actually sold my Perkins engine Nutfield. I bought that. And I had to say, no, I have a few pounds now, and no one our place, it goes, it disappears very fast. And I said, I see, can I find something? I went in on eBay, and that was on eBay. And I rang your man about it, and I didn't bid on it, and I bought it off it. Yeah. And that's where my TVO, or my Perkins engine, nothing. Now the Perkins engine, nothing might be something a bit rarer, but that's rare too. When I and it, it. it's a, both of them are in original, original condition. Never were painted. Over 60 years. No, that one is, oh, no. That one is, uh, six, that one is 68. 68 years old? Yes. 63? 53. 53. Oh no, 63, sorry. Yeah, yeah. no. Fi fi yeah, 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 58 yeah. years old. 58 years old. I'm thinking, actually, sorry. Yeah, I'm ten, 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 10 years ahead. Say. Yeah, well, 10 years old. The other, the other, of the other two combines, we'll look at them another another vintage Thursday. We have a, we have a, Ma a Massey Harris 600 TVO. We'll save that. We'll, we're saving that for another day. This is just on these two combines now, because yeah. I'm looking for a handy content at the minute. Yeah, he's just looking for the lazy man hot. Corn. No, I'm looking for handy content because we're 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 busy. Lazy man hot. We're literally corn. quite. I thought we're late at night, but we just have to come in from cutting side. Yeah. So the engine of the harvester well, is can, quite I literally can smell, hot. Can smell the warm grass. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, lovely combine to work. That one it picked large stuff up quicker than that one. Uh, it's nothing happier than an evening just hopping up and them. And got to cut two or three acres. And a foot of dust on your shoulders. A foot of dust on your shoulders and the poor of them and the noise and everything smashing. But it's just not going to happen this year. That one actually, we burst a tyre on that. We have a wrong size tyre on it and it's flat. Yeah. But it's something we have to address at some stage. Um, yeah, look at the safe to dry. Yeah, maybe in the future we'll, we'll be able to. It was one thing that was never, re well it was, there used to be a harvest festival. We used to have a harvest festival here and it was a great bit of crack. We used to bring binders to and I brought both of them combines to it at different times. But it fell through just simply because of bad weather. Yeah. We actually used to grow the corn. For the day. For the day and manage it and have it ripe on the day for to work with binders. We used to grow a bit of wheat and the binders used to have It was the best evening's crack ever yeah. was. But the last twice it was run and it, it, it has been going back a couple of years, the weather just completely... Yeah, it just completely was wrong for that weekend, and they, the committee had organised activities other than cutting the corn. They had uh, dancing and different things and boxy making and a whole lot of traditional stuff. Yeah, and they, when the weather's again, you the weather's again, yeah. There's it, nothing you can do. It just didn't happen. Yeah. it's too weather related. Like we we used to run the silage harvest day ourselves, and um, it's just a bit of crack. Well, at least if we had a shower. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. The, the last two, last two we had, we we cut them in yeah, the west. No, more than shower, but anyway. Uh, but no, may, maybe in the future. It's, it's something we always, yeah. we always like to try and maybe do something, have some sort of a combine evening. In the future, uh, people bring in a few old combines and that, but it's very hard to organise. Yeah, especially with the way the weather is, you can. It's like you can say, right, we'll have it next Sunday, and then you're looking at the weather and you don't know, and then yeah, the point in time has to come where you have to say ye or nay. And then it's very hard. It's very hard to organize. It's very. It's one of the hardest things to organize, very especially in this organize. country. Well, yeah, there. I suppose. Look, at, I, I just have a hanker after our combines. It's something I always had. It's something I had to replace. We have the same combine inside as we had when I was small. Yeah. 
very well, same. Actually, well, identical, but he doesn't want me talking about No, that. because that's... Uh, video, I'm saving, saving some of these videos. So, well, some, of the, some, of the, some, yeah, some of the differences between the two. So, the 400 had a saddle tank. 400 had a saddle tank. So, the grain goes both sides of the... Both sides. It held about the two ton, ton and a half, two ton. Yeah. It's what it held. It has no greedy extensions or anything. The 788 had a basic one ton tank in different crops now wheat weighed heavy so yeah. it maybe a bit more than a ton in wheat roughly around a ton of barley maybe not quite a ton of barley and wouldn't bring a ton of oats because oats are quite bulky and light yeah so uh when we had cut all three with it yeah and it done a, 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 it will produce a sample that you will be well proud of there would not be a dust of anything other than grain in it a super sample spotlessly yeah. clean um, lovely out there, you know, smash it. Just it grieves me that we can't get them out this mm. year, but it's just can't going to happen. Yeah. It's just too busy. The the auger on the seven eighty that swings round and then you have to put a belt on it belt on to it, unload it. To unload it, a uh, two speed gearbox with um, variator. Yeah, variator, and you had to go into reverse. You had a clutch stop into reverse. That one had a three speed gearbox. Yeah, which left it a nice bit faster on the road. Now that one would do maybe. 10 or 12 mile an hour. Whereas that does? Six. Six mile an six. hour. You would. Half the speed. You would um, be just looking at paint dry. It's that slow. It is just incredibly slow. Uh, very quick story. My father drove one from Wicklow to here. Yeah. From Wicklow to Longford in two days in the month of February. Back in 1974. Yeah. A woman passed him over with a bicycle. <laughs> But that's the story for another. That's the story when we get to the one that's the same as what he used to have. Yeah. But yeah, lovely. I look very original. Everything is on them that should be on them. They never yeah. were messed with or tampered with. Right, except for the wobble box on that. Yeah, that wobble box on yeah. that. And that was actually an improvement. The the old um, wobbler that was on it gave trouble. Yeah. It was troublesome. That was somebody had at some stage just put the box of actually a five hundred on it. Yeah. The same box. The same the as box. what's on that. No, no that has no? a wobble box either. That has a, a, a slightly different mechanism. But it'd be the wobble off of 525 or something like that was put on it at some stage. Yeah. A very professional job. You would not know it other than it shouldn't be on it. Yeah. It should have had a wobbler. But that left him a very unique sound when it was cutting. Yeah. It came with a chop, 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 chop sound. That doesn't have that sound. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's smashing. Smashing how it looks. Smashing Four of them are three straw walker, aren't they? Or four. Uh, they're actually both four straw walker. Four straw walker. Yeah, they're both four straw walker. Um, that one is a good sample as well. The auger on that one is overhead. Yeah, and but swing, it's manual. Swings round. You swing yeah, around you manually. Have to swing around yourself. Yeah. So didn't think you're putting a hydraulic ram on that one. No. She was before. No, I've most of them I've seen all had hydraulic rams for bringing yeah. them round, but that one doesn't. You have to bring it round manually. Um, I was told at the time it was probably the cleanest f original four hundred that could be found. It never was. Never was that done with. They don't look the cleanest there because I got a lovely day in October about five years ago and I waxed both of them. Yeah, spray on wax. I put on spray on wax on both of them, which meant that when we used them then the following year, the bloody dust stuck into it. Mm. So they don't look very attractive, but if you clean off the wax, they are quite shiny underneath. You can see it there. That's just the same old and stuff. There's the wax gone off it. You clean off the wax. That wax is still on them five years later. It would wash up perfect, but I don't want to wash them. No, because you take the wax off them and then it just starts to rust. And I got a beautiful day. It was a smashing, crisp, um, real hot, hot sun, dry October day. And I warmed up my wax and I got a spray gun and I just put two gallons of wax, a gallon on each of them. Yeah. And I thought it was a great job. And it just preserved them. Like we're, 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 we're just preserving this stuff. Yeah. Because most that most of the likes of that that in particular, they were very very common. There was an awful lot of that seven eighty seven eighty eight combines. They kept them built for another five years after they came out because they were so popular. Yeah. The small farm, they, they were estimated to cut about a hundred acres a year, hundred and fifty acres a year. No bother with them. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't like to have to start into it now. <laughs> You'd be a long time getting, getting around now. You'd be a but, long time um, getting around it. It's, um, they were kept on for an extra five years just because they were such a popular combine. Yeah. Uh, after they came out, both made in Kilmarnock in Scotland. Yeah. In the factory in Kilmarnock. It would be the Massey Harris factory in Kilmarnock. And I was at it. 
you were at it. No longer there, but I was at the site yeah. where, they, where, they, where the they used, they used to make them. Where they used to make them. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, there's the crown beside them there, and you see. Some there. The, the, the 500 the, now had a six cylinder parking, six cylinder parking, 635. Yeah. 65. This was like an iconic thing on the masses yeah, after that. The swirl. The swirl. Yeah. I remember on our old, what was it, five, 625. The swirl on the side of it. The 625 was basically similar to that. Only it had a cab. Bigger. Yeah. Everything was bigger. It was a six cylinder engine. It had um, more straw walkers. It was an extra straw walker in, the, in it. Not, not yeah. 100% sure. Four, five straw walker. No, maybe it was four straw walker, but they were wider. Yeah. Straw walkers and them were very narrow. Um, it was a wider drum, but it basically. Basically the same. The same. Yeah. Everything was similar to, the, similar to that, only bigger. Yeah. Now the five the five hundred is a nice big a good bit bigger combine. But she's narrowed back now. Yeah. The four ten that came after that was wider. Wider. Yes. The, the, the actual bit where the saw came out, they made it wider. So she looked narrow. Yeah. That's what leaves it kind of rare. Because it's four it's a four hundred. Yeah. Like I never seen, I never seen one as in the good of Nick as that one. Like I washed it after we got it here just to see how she would clean up, and she cleans up fierce well. Fierce I, remember, well. I remember the washing it when we got it fierce well. We brought it to a vintage show. We drove it up to to Newcastle, which is about twelve miles from here. Yeah, it took two hours. Which because the day up was so slow. Yeah, it's as both of them were drove up. Yeah. But to tear the thing in the sixties, this is what you're cutting with, and then that's not even new, but that's in the nineties. Yeah, that's nice thir 30 combine. years of pro progression in combine from that there to that big girl there who just about fits in the shed that's just the beast <laughs> yeah that's just the beast she be, she'll be out again next weekend now yeah hopefully the weather won't let us down let us down yeah that's the biggest thing at the minute but anyways i don't think there's too much else we will try and fit in the starting of them combines into another vintage thursday video uh, later, later, on, later, later on, on in the winter yeah. Just, we ju time, yeah, we just don't have time now, but we want, kind of wanted to do something on the vintage combines. Well, it's harvest time. Yeah, someone, uh, did, I think the commenter, KT, keeps asking, will we be pulling them out? And I, I really want to just comment on that, that unfortunately we won't, not this year. But hopefully... Well, unfortunately that one can't. But yeah, but hopefully... Look anyone up, knows where there's a water pump. If we can get these things fixed and get organised for next year, maybe we could pull them out. And in the future then going beyond that, maybe we might be able to organise some kind of a, a combine day. But like Everton, a combine day is the hardest something thing. Something I always wanted to do. Yeah. But the hardest to do, thing. But hardest thing to organise. Well, you just want an absolute heat wave. Yeah. It just, it's impossible. But anyways, look, at, so that is it for the two vintage combines. Two more vintage combines to show you, but um, we'll leave it at that for this. Just also, we're heading for 50,000, getting very close. Now, last time I checked, I was on 1,100 away. And for 50,000 subscribers, we will not only be doing a live Q&A, but we will also be going through the 20 something tractors that we have. I can't remember last time I counted, was it 26 or 29? We have a lot of tractors, all from... Ah, well, most of them are vintage. Though. Yes, that's the other side. Most of them are vintage. Everything from, there's a Ferguson 20 on three pallets at the back of the shed up to the 64.99. We'll be giving them a brief rundown and we'll try and do it in the year they were made, maybe. We'll, I'll try and edit it up that way. I think it'll be interesting that way. But that is what we'll be doing for 50,000 subscribers. So if you want to help us get there, please like and subscribe to the channel. Share the videos on with your friends, your mates and whatever. And... Push us on for 50 and yeah, some of the biggest requested things is a my farm machinery tour, but we'll do a tractor tour on everything from the 20 at the back of the shed right up to the 99. So mm. anyways, I think that is it from us. It's time for us to go get a tea after, a well, not it's really a day's it's harvesting. Dark now, lad. I know it's dark. I might go to the hen house now. Anyway, that is it from us. Please like and subscribe to the channel videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. That is it from us. Good luck.